Dinkra are visual symbols with historical and philosophical importance. They originated from the Asantes of Ghana. Adinkra symbols were printed on cloth, which Asante royals wore to important ceremonies. Each symbol has a meaning. The symbols can be found in clothing, architecture, furniture, sculpture, and pottery. Adinkra symbols have increased in importance around the world and continue to instruct us today. This is Miko, the Adinkra symbol of the pepper. It's a shortened version of an Akan proverb and means all peppers do not ripen simultaneously. This proverb encourages the greater ones to help the less fortunate with the understanding that fortunes could reverse so that they could also need someone's help one day. Miko also encourages those behind to strive for advancement and not resign to fate. That someone has attained greatness shows that it is attainable. Yes, some may shoot ahead first, but eventually others can catch up. Eventually all the peppers will ripen. Let's see a story that shares this lesson. Maya just started her first chemistry class. She's struggling. She's been trying so hard to solve this homework problem, but she just can't seem to get it. She really should ask her little cousin Ruby if she could help figure it out. Ruby's like a science genius. She's always doing crazy experiments and watching bugs and taking notes. But Ruby's her little cousin, and Maya knows Ruby looks up to her. Maya's a little embarrassed to ask her for help. Hey Maya, what are you up to? I've been trying to figure out this chemistry problem, but I just can't get it. Ooh, maybe I can help. Oh, now I see. It's not as hard as I thought. Thank you so much, Ruby. I almost didn't ask for your help. I feel like I'm the big cousin and should be the one helping you. But you always help me. You're good at everything. You're the best artist ever ever and you're always showing me ways to draw new characters. I'm just glad I could help you with something. Well no one is good at everything. That's why we need to stick together. Omar doesn't know what's wrong with him. He's just no good at basketball. He can spend a whole hour shooting and miss almost every time. It must not run in the family because his dad played in college and his cousin Ty plays like he was born with a ball in his hand. Ty has tried to teach him, but Ty just made their school basketball team, so he doesn't have much time anymore. Omar doesn't even dream about making the team. He just wants to be good enough not to make a fool of himself with the guys. And he's getting sick of the jokes. Omar decides he's going to beat basketball. He's not going to let it beat him. So he practices. He asks for help. He studies and practices some more. And over time, he starts to get better. And now, if he shoots for an hour, he gets it in most of the time. Finally, he's good enough to actually play with his cousin. None of his friends at school laugh at him anymore. He's even better than a few of them. Omar keeps working hard and discovers that he really loves playing. And the next year, Omar does something he never even imagined. He makes the team. His determination has paid off. Eventually we will all get there. Like Meko says, eventually all the peppers will ripen. See you next time.